in this tutorial I'm going to go over creating uh, the model in SketchUp and getting it ready to export into CryEngine and a few sort of settings we need to set up in SketchUp and then how we uh, place it and deal with it in CryEngine. So I've started to make a, a little model um, and I just need to sort of check a few things. I've got a person for scale who I'm going to uh, delete now. Um, so I've got my model um, and the PlayUps tools, PlayUp tools plugin, uh, which is on the computer lab computers. Um, and if you want to download it onto the, your own computer, I'll put a link uh, on the blog under tutorials and then CryEngine. Um, but PlayUp play up tools and then uh, preferences and a few other things in here which we'll get into shortly um, and uh, some of the other components also what happens is it creates a uh, little tool palette here which is really useful uh, so I've made my model and uh, the way SketchUp works is it um, creates faces so here I've selected a face um, and uh, there's a inside and outside or a front face and a back face uh, to those um, uh, faces that we've made uh, and CryEngine is really particular about th having uh, front faces uh, and uh, this model I've made here has actually got a back face which means it won't export so we just need to check uh, what that's going to be. So I've got a little check normals here and you can see anything that's grey is fine uh, but anything that uh, is green means it's around the wrong way. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to uh, right click on that and uh, reverse faces. Also in the computer lab there's another plugin which is uh, basically enables you to paint over uh, any faces to put them in the right direction. So here I'm just going to do this and now we're fine. So I can uncheck that and back to where we were. Um, it's really important that we uh, make uh, and name um, uh, all the geometry into a group or a component. Uh, I'm going to do a component in this case because uh, it forces us to come up with a name. Uh, if you've made uh, groups in yours uh, we can uh, edit those so I'll show you how to do that as well uh, so in this one uh, what have we got we're just going to call this uh, box one and maybe what I'll do is I'll just put my last name just so it's easy to uh, find so I'm going to go create and if we look up uh, in the entity info uh, up the up here, the um, it's got definition name, so we can either change it there, and if we have uh, a group, we can add uh, that name and in, into there. So if we go uh, window entity info, we'll bring that that box up. So um, if you've got a whole lot of groups, you can go and manually set those up. So something to think about. Also, you might want to clean up your model uh, and delete a whole lot of it, figure out one part of it and then uh, copy and, and um, recreate your model. So in this case I'm just going to quickly um, make a few of these, so, uh, make a few, I'm just going to flip, let's see, and the blue and then do some more. three times. So we've got a, a few of them now uh, and I'm just going to come in uh, there and flip along. Let's do the green just to give it a bit of variation. Uh, flip below. So it's just not all the same. Uh, flip that one. something like that um, and uh, we should bring in some textures as well 
I'm going to refer you to the uh, tutorial uh, on the blog about how to do that um, but at this stage I'm just going to uh, bring one in uh, uh, quickly so create material under the materials palette and if it's not there it's under window uh, and where are the materials that'll bring them up so that button and then use texture uh, and then we can go and find a texture so desktop uh, I'll quickly find one in here Ch -ch 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 cement that'll do open uh, see how that goes and then go OK so I'm just going to um, apply him uh, onto our model where are we so uh, he's sort of come in, in parts but you can see uh, that it's quite little so we want to edit let's just right click on here and edit uh, where is he gone no, not that button. So up here, where is it? There, edit. So we can actually change the size. So I'm going to make that a meter, um, by a meter, and you can see he's sort of uh, a bit better size. Uh, and if I want, I can come in here right until we get to that level and texture and position. So I can even move him around. So we can actually get them to line up a bit nicer uh, so um, there could be a little bit of playing but setting that to uh, a meter is a good a good idea um, uh, and I'm going to create a new color see how we go name colors uh, let's just do in a bright green not wanting to there so go into the component and then apply the uh, paint bucket uh, green there so now we've got some pieces happening uh, I would spend a lot longer getting that all textured up so we've sort of got our model ready so to speak uh, and just check that it's not too big so if we go up to Windows uh, model information and statistics and show nested uh, that we've got only 112 faces so that's not uh, going to be an issue but be aware we don't want too many faces and curved um, uh, surfaces end up generating a lot of faces so uh, just be mindful the more faces uh, we have the slower the computer will run so we need to go to play up tools again in preferences uh, check that we're on CryEngine 3 which it should be um, and we want all nested meshes exported as individual meshes uh, and then we go to CryEngine we just need to uh, set this to the right uh, thing right folder uh, to make sure that the model is housed within our level um, and it will make life easier so we want to go to the C drive and then down to program files and then cry engine game uh, levels and then the level that we created in the last tutorial so we just click on that and go OK and we can leave uh, that file uh, unless you've set it up yourself which you'll need to, to have in the right area um, which I'll set up it set it up on your own computer uh, which will show another tutorial on that and in this case we want to set uh, master uh, MTL options so if we do that or that uh, in this case uh, this just creates one master material if we want more control over the materials we uh, can do that um, so it's a little bit of playing uh, the easiest is to do that to start with um, and depending on your model you might want to change that so uh, once we've done those things we can go 
save and exit and go OK and OK. So um, there's a little bit of a bug in the Play Up Tools where we can't close that window. So we'll just pull him over to the side. So now we've set up uh, where we need to go to. We can export the level. So if we uh, go up to Plugins, Play Up, Export Level. So the level exporter for Cray Engine will create a play up layer file that you can import into Cray Engine by going to the Layers tab and clicking on the Import Layers icon. So that's what we're about to do once we've done that. So um, hopefully that's all done. So let's have a look and see. So I'm just going to close that down and open up uh, my level and, and go over to Layers and uh, load, so import layers, uh, and I've already gone to that correct file, so where we set it in the Play Up Tools uh, preferences, so here it is here, um, and let's see how, how that goes, so if we hit open, uh, and you can see in the distance, I'm fortunately looking in the right uh, area, uh, that uh, they've been placed at zero zero so uh, that is a setting in uh, the preferences so if we go plugins play up tools preferences oh I've got to uh, we can actually change where we want it on the map uh, but uh, for now let's just go with what we've got uh, on this one so we will need to quickly zoom over there um, I've got a setting here I'm hitting the ground so to enable that we go uh, game and terrain collision we want enabled so the shortcut for that is Q so if I push Q it means now I can go through the ground which can be a bit uh, confusing so I'm just going to push Q again and that means we can just run along the ground and if we push down the bottom here we've got speed I'm going to set that to 10 it'll go much faster so uh, I'm just going to drop that back to 1 and mouse around to where we want and we come in and we can see that the uh, level the geometry that we've created for the level uh, is missing. If we come really close it says replace me. So what we want to do now is we want to select all the geometry. So we're going to go up to tools and no view, open view, pane for uh, uh, select objects. So we can just come in here and oh, just hit select all, select all and we can close that and then now we've got all those selected we can open up the materials palette so view open materials palette uh, material editor so it creates this and we should be able to go materials what's going on here huh. something's a bit different to what it should be uh. I'll just check that out and um, I'll so I had a few little issues so I've um, just restarted the uh, Cry Engine um, and I'll, which is quite good because I'll be able to show you how to quickly open up a file so file open and then we want to go back to the folder that we created in the level and then there's a, a Cry file within that so we can open open up so uh, we've got our uh, level here um, go back to um, SketchUp so I had issues so I hadn't exported the level so I've now exported it um, before this dialog hadn't uh, turned up so make sure that we get you get this dialog saying master file name play up master material has been generated um, and then all the, the models within it so we can now import the player going to the layers tab and clicking on the import layers icon so now if we go back here go to layers uh, import uh, and then let's just check 
Uh, so we're in the right place, I think. Yep. And then go open. Oh, let's just go up a level. So it is in here the one that we want. So open. Uh, so that's imported it, but oh, not found. Um, let's just have a look. So it has imported it. So um, it's gone way over here. So let's just zoom over quickly. Uh, and that's looking much better. It's the geometry that we wanted. So uh, step back to there. Um, but as you can see, it is the wrong uh, texture. Um, and you can see that because we changed the scale of the um, uh, concrete, that's changed as well. So we needed to select. So go view, open. Where are we? Select objects, select all. I'm just going to pull that off to the side. Um, and then we need to set up the materials. So I'll pull that back actually and I'll show you a way of dealing with all those. So view, object view, uh, material editor. And I'm just going to drag that on top of the other one. So now we've got a material editor and down the bottom we've got our select objects so we can um, manage the windows kind of uh, a little bit easier. So now we have uh, a levels uh, piece here and then uh, we've got our play up master uh, tool and you can see all of those. And basically what we're going to do, I'll just resize that a bit, is uh, select the play up master and then assign uh, item to selected objects and they they have um, now I'll just pull this over now you can see that they've come in onto the model uh, and I'm just going to move uh, all of those over a bit so I'm just going to quickly just so we can uh, run around and if we hold G it stays on the ground so let's just uh, move back a bit with the S key and then just select one of those and move move away and hold G. Uh, and then I'm just going to come in, get down close. We want to start close to it. Uh, and then hit uh, Control G. And now we're in and we can run around. So W, we can run around. And the time of day is going quickly, but we can uh, move that. Uh, so you can sort of start to see how those all work. Um, I'll put up on a blog uh, the way to get rid of the um, HUD or head up display which is the, the pieces on the side but you can now start to see that we've got quite an exciting model. Uh, so I'll just escape out of that to go back to the game uh, and we want the terrain time of day and if we just set that to zero, uh, it will um, uh, not. And go back to control. Now it's not going to move all over the place. Um, and that might be a bit bright, uh, so we can just go back and edit terrain, time of day, just change what time of day. So obviously later in the day, the more interesting it is. So because I've set that play speed to zero, we've now. So control G and we can run around and you can see the texture on there and uh, the green that I placed. Uh, you can get some interesting views uh, and I'll show you in another tutorial how to get rid of that. Uh, uh, I'll start shooting. See the, the no surface uh, piece. Uh, I'll show you how to get rid of that in another tutorial. But we've got um, our level in, uh, and that's one way of bringing geometry in from SketchUp. I hope that's helpful.